going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off in Class 2A, where a big showdown went down in Murray County tonight. 9 0 Loretto hit the road to take on 8 1 Mount Pleasant in a battle for the top spot within the region. Tigers and the Mustangs meeting up tonight in Murray County in what was an instant classic. Starting first here in the first quarter, Mason Tibwell swings it out to Corbin Reynolds. He breaks a tackle and does the rest. He's going to take this one down the sideline, 61 yards to the house. The Mustangs lead it early, 7 to nothing. Tigers would respond. Nick Brown with a back shoulder throw here to Darian Meza for the four-yard score, but that cuts the lead to 7 to six, Brown, then Brown driving. The that one's off the hands of Meza, picked off by Jackson Tragula. He's going to do the rest into the clear. He would take this one 98 yards to the end zone. That makes it 13 to six. Loretta moving ahead now to the second quarter. Brown this time dropping back. He's going to find Jalen McClure. He makes the catch. Nice stiff arm, rips off the defender. He's going to take this one 54 yards into the end zone. That cuts the Mustang lead to 13-12. to But Loretto would respond. It's Nicholas McDowell with the 11-yard touchdown run at the extra point. It's a 20-12 Mustang lead. But back come the Tigers. Brown launches it up. This pass would get tipped into the hands of Avery Johnson. He does the rest. It's an 80-yard touchdown connection at the two points. And this game is tied at 20, back come the Mustangs. It's McDowell, gets the handoff, cuts up field, breaks a couple tackles, breaks even more tackles, gets a couple good blocks down the field. 57 yards later, he is in the end zone at the extra point. Loretto leads it 27 to 20. The Mustangs would get the ball back and continue to score. This time, Tibwell finds Reynolds again for the 27-yard connection. It's now a 34-20 Loretto lead. Back come the Tigers now. Brown swings it out the Meza. Good blocking downfield, and with speed, he gets into the clear down the sidelines. It's an 88-yard touchdown connection again, cutting the Loretto lead to 34-27. to Then right before the end of the half, Tibwell. A beautiful pass here to Clint Seymour makes the amazing catch. It's a 42-yard score. The Mustangs lead it 41-27 at the half. Moving ahead now to the third. Brown, the option pitched out to McClure. He's got a lot of space, and he takes advantage. It's going to be a 70-yard touchdown for McClure. No extra point. Makes it 41-33. to Then Brown, the option to McClure. This time it's a pass, and he hits Meza for the 32-yard touchdown connection. Makes it 41-39 to Loretto. Here in the fourth, Stoltz would answer for the Mustangs with a one-yard touchdown run at the extra point. It's 48-39. to Then it's Brown. Launches it up for Meza, who makes the amazing catch for the nine-yard score. Makes it 48 to to 46 and after an onside kick recovery it's brown finding hayden holt for the 16 yard score and the tigers get their first lead 52 to 48 then with 29 seconds remaining tibwell is going to find jack welch he cuts it upfield it's a 13 yard touchdown at the two-point conversion and loretto will go to 10 and 0 with a 56 to 52 win now staying in class 2a where summertown hit the road for its regular season finale as they took on east hickman the Eagles looking for their second win of the season, trying to close out 2023 right. Here in the first quarter, down 7 to nothing. it's Miles Green. Gets a handoff, gets into the clear 51 yards later. He is to the house. That ties the game up at 7. Moving ahead to the second down, 13 to 7. Green going to get a handoff here over the left side, get some good blocking. He's going to punch it in from 31 yards out. Eagles lead at 14 to 13. Moving ahead to the third down at 21 to 14. It's Logan Love calling his own number for the four-yard score. It is 21 all, and we would head into overtime. In overtime, down 29 to 21. Love launches it up for Jeff Stall and makes the amazing catch for the 11-yard score. It's now a two-point game. Then on the two-point conversion, Love cuts it upfield but gets tackled a yard short. And the Eagles fall in this one in overtime, 29 to 27. Coming up next, we head on over to Class 5A, where Lawrence County was closing out the season at Cheatham County. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost everything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. 
These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something totally new or can do it for you room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint or a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family-owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. On Saturday, October 28th, head on down to the historic Wilburn Mill in Fall River, Tennessee for the second annual Music at the Mill concert. Featuring live music by Shane Prophet, Eli Fox, Shelby Lee Lowe, Dixie Mafia, Ben Daniel, and more. Enjoy country craft demonstrations, food, a barbecue cook-off, and of course, much, much more. All proceeds benefit Crossroads Volunteer Fire Department. Tickets are available now at wilburnmill.com. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to the final score. Now up to Class 5A where Lawrence County was on the road to close out 2023. The Wildcats were taking on Cheatham County, trying to send the seniors out on a high note. Wildcats looking for their fourth win of the season, taking on the Cubs of Cheatham County. Here in the first quarter, it's Isaiah Bentley on the Wildcats' first drive. Off some great blocking, cuts up field, breaks one, two, and three tackles for the 65-yard touchdown. The Wildcats lead it six to nothing. Next drive, Latavion Everly with the 14-yard touchdown score at the two-point. The Wildcats are in control with a 14 to nothing lead. Engage Smith. Off the jet sweep, it's going to cut it upfield. It's a 12-yard touchdown. Wildcats still leading it 21 to nothing. Moving ahead here to the second quarter on third and goal from the 13. That's all Isaiah Bentley needs. Gets to the corner. It's a 13-yard score. Makes it 27 to nothing. Then some good defense here as Patrick Kelly gets picked off by Drake Osborne off the screen. It's a 32-yard pick six. And the Wildcats lead it 34 to nothing at the half. Moving ahead to the third, Ian Clayton. Off the end around, cuts up field, and that's going to be a 20-yard touchdown run. Makes it 41 to nothing. Now up 41 to six. The senior offensive lineman Jacob Burdishaw powers his in way in from six yards out, and the Wildcats in the season on the high note, taking this one 48 to six. Coming up next, we head on over to Class 1A, where Wayne County was also closing out their season at home. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. 
final score now over to Class 1A, where Wayne County was back at home to close out 2023. The Wildcats were taking on a non-region opponent and a big jump up to Class 3A in Liberty Creek. Wayne County trying to end the season on the high note, hosting Class 3A Liberty Creek. Here in the first quarter, down 7 to nothing. It's Drew Beavis with a one-yard touchdown run. It's a 7 to 6 Liberty Creek. Now to the second down, 20 to 6. Beavis finds Sailor Skelton with a 32-yard touchdown connection. Cuts the lead, 21 to 14. Here in the fourth down, 42 to 14. It's Ryder Butler with a two-yard touchdown run. The Wildcats will fall from there, 48 to 20. Now it's time to check out everything that went down in Lauderdale County, Alabama tonight. Starting off with Rogers, who topped the West Limestone 25-7. Brooks fell at Deschler 56-28. Lauderdale County goes to 9-0 with a 41-7 win over Colbert Heights. Wilson dropped its contest to West Morgan 62-0. Lexington won at Sheffield 64-12. Mars Hill edged Scarsboro 36-35. And Shoals Christian topped Waterloo 68-0. That does it for the final score. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow night for the Saturday Night Tailgate. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.